The vast grasslands of Rajasthan's Thar Desert are one of India's most valuable ecosystems. They provide food and shelter to a remarkable variety of species, among which lives a critically endangered bird, locally known as the Kudavan. The great Indian bustard, royalty of grasslands and scrublands, it is one of the heaviest flying birds on earth. The state bird of Rajasthan, it lost out to the peacock to become the national bird due to the potentially controversial pronunciation of its name. These ground-dwelling birds prefer flat, open, undisturbed landscapes with minimal visual obstruction. Historically, the great Indian bustard was distributed almost throughout India, spanning 11 states as well as parts of Pakistan. But today, its population has gone down to fewer than 150 individuals, limited to fragmented pockets in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh, with Rajasthan being its last bastion. However, their existence in Rajasthan is also fraught with challenges. Increasing human encroachment is a constant threat to their survival. Grasslands are often considered wastelands and replaced by agricultural fields, pastures and industries. Bustards are ground nesting birds and are severely affected by disturbances such as livestock overgrazing and free-ranging dogs. These large, shy birds may vanish into the grasses at the smallest disruption, but they are clever opportunists when it comes to food. Their diet ranges widely, depending on the seasons, from seeds to insects to small rodents and reptiles. One of their favourites is desert locusts. Occasionally, swarms of desert locusts come into India from West Asia and multiply exponentially. This means an abundant snack supply for the bustards and other birds. But locusts are a major threat to farmers. 10 million locusts can feast on 200,000 tons of green crops easily in just 24 hours. The chemical pesticides used to control locust populations can be very harmful for the bustards. With conservationists and the government striving hard to protect their remaining populations, the death of even a single bird is catastrophic. As bustard numbers continue to slide, every hazard is life-threatening. The expansion of renewable power projects has in recent years put their future in even greater peril. New wind turbines bring with them overhead power transmission lines that crisscross their habitat. These low-flying birds have poor eyesight and their field of vision does not allow them to see what is directly in front of them while they're flying. Between 2016 and 2018, five great Indian bustards perished after crashing into power lines. Taking these power lines underground is the need of the hour. The future of the great Indian bustard is not looking all that great at the moment, but if immediate, and accelerated conservation measures are taken in time, we might be able to prevent one of independent India's first major extinctions. <laughs>